Hey there guys, what is up? I am Vile Self. I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary here on Black Ops 2. This is one of the new maps, Frost. PS3 just got the uh, download maps last week. The new DLC, the last map pack for Black Ops 2. So here I am playing on it and I'm still going for this nuclear and guys, I get it in this game. I finally get my nuclear medal and I couldn't be happier. Now, I'm going to warn you guys, the gameplay is a little slow, it's a little campy, I'm a target finder, light machine gun noob, but whatever. I get my nuclear and that's all I fucking care about. Finally got it, it's a weight lifted off my shoulders, and I could not be happier. Um, I even pull out uh, Unstoppable as well, only one, but either way, it was just a little icing on the cake. Um... It does get a little close at the end. My heart was really racing after I got to like the 25 kill. I got the brutal medal and my heart was racing and I knew I was close. I was running out of ammo and well you'll see it when it gets to the end. Um, it was pretty close though. I, I almost didn't get it and I really would have been pissed off. But this gameplay was done um, Friday night at about 2.30 in the morning. I was up playing it and uh, yeah I was pretty stoked. My, uh, my girlfriend was uh, sleeping. She had to get up for work in the morning, and I, I got the nuclear, and I was like, yes, yes, yes! But I was like, shit, gotta shut up. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna talk about something, uh, not just the nuclear in this video, but as you're watching the gameplay, I'm gonna talk about uh, Call of Duty Ghosts for a minute, and the potential that PS4 is gonna have dedicated servers on Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, it's already been confirmed that both PC and Xbox One will have dedicated servers for Call of Duty Ghosts, and a lot of people are wondering, what what about PS4, you know? So Mark Rubin was asked in an interview, what about PS4? Is PS4 going to get dedicated servers for Call of Duty Ghosts? Mark Rubin said he cannot talk about that right now. He said he can't say no, he can't say yes. He can't talk about it. So take that for what it's worth. It really doesn't mean anything. But to me, it kind of sounds like one of those things where, you know, how Microsoft and uh, Activision... They kind of have their partnership, their deal, um, where you know all the Call of Duty content comes out early on Xbox first. All the events are played on Xboxes. All the commercials have Xbox logos in them for Call of Duty. Like they're really their partnership goes pretty deep, and it's been uh, it's been uh, there for the last four or five years. Um, so part of me thinks that they're not allowed to announce it for PS4 because um, by announcing it for Xbox One. It kind of makes the Xbox One version of the game seem more desirable to people. You know, it gives them a, a, the thought that they're going to be able to play Call of Duty Ghosts with no lag and have, you know, amazing online gameplay and stuff like that. And since Microsoft and Activision are partnered, they're going to try to help each other out. So for, you know, Activision to only announce this on Xbox, they're just trying to boost the sales of Xbox One. And this is just my theory, but it makes total sense to me. And if you really, you know, read between the lines and think about it, it'll make total sense to you too. Um, but there's something that's leading me to believe that there will be dedicated servers on PS4. Now, the fact that Mark Rubin didn't want to say anything, or he couldn't say anything, um, that, you know, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. But... Uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys are aware or not, but right now, currently, right now, Black Ops 2 is being run on dedicated servers on both Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, this has been tested and confirmed by members of the community. It has not been confirmed by Sony, it has not been confirmed by Activision, but this is something that they implemented in silence, in stealth, and they're, I assume they're testing out the servers to prepare for Call of Duty Ghosts because I don't know why they would implement dedicated servers into Black Ops 2 this late in the game cycle, but it's been tested and it's been proven. And the way that it was tested is um, I found out because I was watching a Drifter video. Uh, Drifter's a, a very well-known uh, content creator on Call of Duty. If you don't know who he is, you should check him out. He's got a great channel. But uh, Drifter posted a video about Black Ops 2 having dedicated servers on in pub matches and the way he found out is he had a link to a guy who ran a test and what this guy did was he downloaded a program which allowed him to monitor where all of his ping packets were being sent to. Now if you don't know what ping packets are that's basically all the information that's going from your console to the host console and back again. That's, that's where your information is, it's your ping. So 
This guy found out that all of his ping packets were being sent to a specific IP address. So, and he tested this out in several different games, and this was on Xbox 360. So, he ended up searching uh, the location of this IP address and server from um, New Jersey that was hosting these games. And he went to the website, and I don't remember the name of it right now, and I'm not going to post the link because that's you know, too much work for me to go find that shit, but... Anyway, he found out it was a server farm in New Jersey, some game hosting farm. So, people started going crazy, like, oh my god, it's on dedicated servers. Like, this was the fact, this was the proof. So, some other guys decided to test this theory out on the PlayStation 3. And, lo and behold, it was confirmed that, sure enough, these games are being held on dedicated servers. So, there's one guy, um... I remembered his name a second ago, but I can't think of it right now. I should have wrote it down. Um, I'll try to get the name and write it in the description of the video. But anyway, he posted a video um, where he tests it out on PS3. And he confirms it that all the games, all of his ping packets are being sent to the same server farm in New Jersey. And he tested this out for Black Ops 1 and for Modern Warfare 3 as well. And both of those came back negative. He was just getting random peer-to-peer um, -peer hosts. Random, you know, the, the game would just select a host, somebody to be the host back in. It was back to the server farm in New Jersey. So, and this guy, this is the only guy I checked out, but there was, appa there was apparently some other guy, some guy from England, or somewhere in the UK, I'm not sure if it was actually England, but somewhere in the UK, and um, a couple other guys have tested this out too, and it's been confirmed. Black Ops 2 is running on dedicated servers right now. And this makes a lot of sense because... I have not seen a host migration in months. And I've talked to some other people and we haven't seen host migrations in months. The only weird thing is, not everybody is on these servers. If you're still experiencing host migrations, then chances are you are not on these dedicated servers. So I don't know what determines if you're on or off the servers, but I know certain people that live in like, you know, the sort of the New Jersey area that aren't on the dedicated servers. Then again, I know people that are living in the UK that are on the servers so I don't know what determines if you get on or if you're not on the servers I don't really know but the fact remains is Black Ops 2 is on dedicated servers right now so with that said I have to assume since it's been confirmed that dedicated servers will be on Xbox One and PC and they're testing them out right now on PS3 as well as Xbox 360 then I gotta assume, based on those facts, that dedicated servers for Call of Duty Ghosts will also be on PS4. Now, also take into consideration how stupid it would be for Activision to release the game with dedicated servers on two platforms and not the other one. Now, even if you, like, I know this doesn't matter too much, but if you looked at the pre-order details for um, Call of Duty Ghosts, there's actually more pre-orders on the PS4 for Call of Duty Ghosts than there is for Xbox One, okay? There's about 10,000 more the last time I checked, which I don't think the list has been updated recently. This is, this, we're going back to like maybe late August, early September, but there was 10,000 more pre-orders for Call of Duty Ghosts on PS4 than there was for Xbox One. So for them to neglect the Sony audience like that and totally put them like down in last place, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's not a really good business move by Activision to do that. Now the thing that's throwing a big pickle into all of this is where are Sony's servers? Are these Sony servers that are going to be hosting this or is it going to be Activision servers themselves? We don't know this because when it was announced that the um, servers will be on the Xbox One, they announced that it will be powered by the Xbox One's cloud which Sony does not have that type of cloud. Sony has a different type of cloud that will be implemented in 2014. So with that said, we don't know exactly how this is gonna work because if Xbox One is powering the Xbox One cloud, then or sorry, the Xbox One dedicated servers, the cloud's powering it, then what's powering the PC dedicated server? What's gonna power the PS4 dedicated server? And my guess is that Activision purchased this server farm in New Jersey and this server farm is going to act as the host for the PS4 and the PC um, ghost community. That's just my theory, but to me it just makes total sense. And even though there's holes in my theory, I gotta, I gotta hope that it's going to be true. But I'll tell you one thing, guys. 
I'm playing on these dedicated servers and I have been for a while and there's not much big of a difference. The game still plays basically the same, there's still lag, there's still hit detection, there's still a whole bunch of those what the fuck bullshit type of moments. And here I am running out of ammo and my heart's just racing because I'm like, what, two or three away from the nuclear. And I pick up an SBU, which is probably one of the shittiest guns I could have picked up right now. I'm about to get fucking lucky right there. Get another VSAT in here, but anyway, going off track, but even still. Um, there it is! Bam! There's my nuclear! I was so happy to get that, guys. That was such a relief. I was like, yeah! Um, so it was such a sweet, sweet thing. Bittersweet, bittersweet. But, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Let me know what you guys think about the servers and the dedicated servers and PS4 and all that stuff. If you guys have any information about this, or if you have any theories at all, let me know. Leave them in the comments. Maybe make a video. Do whatever you want. But let's just share some information about this and try to figure this out. And maybe we can weasel some information out of uh, out of uh, somebody from Infinity Ward or somebody if we tweet them enough or something. I don't know. But I really like to get to the bottom of this. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Vile self out.